Linda! Bonjour! Kenichiwa! Mustassi! What? Mustassi Arsi! No, Mum. Musta ma 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 Namaste. Oh, that's the one. Oh my word! I, I, I know it was the M O N. Oh my word! Namaste. Oh no, it's Namaste. Oh my gosh! Hi everybody, how y'all doing? I'm just trying to give y'all an international greeting and messing it up. So, this is how I shall greet you, and it don't matter what language you speak, you'll understand this one. <laughs> Big hug and a kiss. <laughs> Welcome to my bosoms. Welcome. <laughs> There's a whole lot of people that wish they could smuggle. Oh, 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 enough, 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 enough. <laughs> so, today I am here cooking once again for the food bank. I've made a yummy, 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 delicious butternut squash soup. And I thought, what's going to go with that soup? Something that you could just dunk a dunk into it. And I thought of this. We're going to do Mama Cherry's courgette and sweet corn. Hush puppy fritters. Nice. Oh, yes. So, the quick... Mama say what? Mama say please subscribe and become a Patreon. Oh, yes, she did. Yes, she yes. did. Yes. So, the quickest way to do this is... I got my pans on hot, so they're going to be ready. Is I'm going to make up a very quick cornbread mixture, okay? So, watch. If you ain't never seen me do it, this is how we do it. And I'm going to do this quickity, 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 quick. <laughs> Flour. Cornmeal, equal. Equal parts, yeah. Put them in. Mix them up. Bit of sugar. About a third of it. About a third. Mix it up. Okay, let's get this all mixed up. Now, if I were making um, proper, proper, I've, this is self-raising flour, but I normally put a little bit of baking powder in, but as these are fritters, I don't need it. Okay. The, just the baking powder that's in this flour will work. Okay. okay, got it all mixed up. To that next, we're going to add three eggs. Okay? To that, we're also going to add some buttermilk. This is regular milk. How are we going to make a buttermilk, you may ask me. Watch and learn. Get yourself some lemon juice. Just add your lemon juice to it. Give it a little stir. And can you see that? Yeah. Boom, lady, boom, buddy, boom, buttermilk. So, let's just mix this up. The eggs. Add our milk, add some melted butter, I told you I'm doing this quick, whisk there, Mom. I know I do, but I want to stir this in, there we go, I might need a little bit more milk, yes I do, can you get me some more milk please, mm -hmm. yeah because these are, okay so, Add a little bit more milk. Not just milk, butter milk. And add that. Okay. So I will come back to this because this just needs to get a little bit of a. There you go. Muscle. And that's cornbread. Done. But this isn't just cornbread we're making. We are making my hush puppy. So we're going to drain that. I'm going to add a tin of sweet corn. I'm going to add, let's see how much. I might just need half an onion. So I'm just going to stay in there. Dice this onion. Don't want it too big pieces. Yum a dum a dum. So what you guys been doing out there in the world? Please tell me. Drop me a line. You know what I want to do right now? I because I'm international. Let's just add that. I want you to drop me a comment and tell me where you come from. What part of the world do you hail from? And I'ma see if I'm a I'm a uh, getting hot up in here. I'm, now I'm going to do me some coriander. I want to just see what part of the world you come from. Because I want to see if I got anybody from Antarctica here. Antarctica? Anybody, Antarctica. Anybody come from down that way? 
Well, they actually, have internet. The North Pole. Yeah. We do have. One of our patrons lives in the North Pole. Do we? Yeah. Oh my god! She's from Fairbanks, Alaska, which is considered the North Pole. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. So I am reaching it. Yeah. So let's get this. There we go. Put that in. And now we want a little bit of color up in here. Let me just turn these back. Yeah, otherwise it's going to... Right down. Because I don't want them to burn as soon as they hit the thing. But at the same time, you know I'm going to turn them off. <laughs> there we go. I needed it hot. But I don't need it scorching. Oh, I smell that coriander. Can you? Mmm. I love coriander, though. And then the next thing I'm going to do is going to cut up our courgette or our zucchini. Okay, and also, can you put in the comments, um, what do you call this? Do you call it a courgette or do you call it a, a zucchini? Or do you call it something totally different? Let me know. One of these. You At know. what point does the courgette become a marrow? I think when it grows up so <laughs> dang on big, you can't do nothing with it. And it turns into all seeds. <laughs> That's true. They okay. are all seeds. So, now, this is the way I'm doing this. I'm just going to cut it down because I want little pieces. Now, some people, when they make their courgette fritters, they grate it. I find that if you grate it, it's too watery. Yeah. And then you got to sit there squeezing the water out. And to me, you don't necessarily get that full courgette taste and I want us to be able to munch in and go mmm that's a courgette let's put that ah. okay it's building up epic. huh it's epic. of course it is and you can do like this you can just kind of go like this chop it around <laughs> that works watch yeah it does Okay. Uh oh, gotta get to it again. Go to, ah! Are you using the whole thing? I'm using quite a bit of it. Okay. It's oh. a courgette oh. and corn. Well, we'll come back. You know, yeah, come back. But it, I thought I had some butter, so you know me, I ain't gonna waste nothing if I can help it. So now, this is the hard part. This is the hard part. It's getting you need a this. Bowl. I do. Let me get you a bigger bowl. No, I got it. Okay. You keep your hand like this, like a shield. And it's really go to the center and it's folding. Just fold it in. Yeah, it's going. Oh, yes. This is going to be really hot. That's what I want. You know, this is for the homeless, and this is, you know, what they're going to well, get. it's not just the homeless. And it's, not, it's just the vulnerable people that are going to the food banks. But what it does, it gives them a lot of veg mm. in here. Now, it's missing one thing. Can you tell me where you think it's missing, Katrina? I think it's missing seasoning. It's missing love dust. There you go. And guess what I got here? Boyong! So we want a little bit of seasoning in this. Because this is a... Although it's got the sugar... It's a savory thing. Oh, yes. Okay. Tiny bit more. And now I'm going to turn my stove back on. Let's turn the stove back on. And then it's time to get to frying. Now, how many do you think I'm going to get out of this? Oh, I don't know. It depends what size you do. Alright, I'll show you the size. So, wait a minute. I'm going to, because I need to make this easy. Yeah. So, I'm going to put it in here so that I can walk this over. So, this is going to be... Oh, you're going to get loads. The size. 40? More? More. How many do you reckon? So, you at, guys, put in the comments. This is a game. This whole video is a game. It's a quiz. How many do you think I'm going to get out of this? 
Katrina, give us your number. I don't know because... No, uh, you need to say your number first. And they say that number. So why should you not get the advantage? Come on. How many? I'm going to say 60. You say 60? Okay. I'm going to say... I'm gonna get. Look, you, you can you, you control this. How does that work? <laughs> no, how does that fare? You can control how big you make them to get the number that you now, want. No, they're all gonna be this size. I think I'm gonna. You're right. I think it's gonna be about six between six and sixty-five. I hope because I want to be able to give them at least two mm. per portion. So we'll we'll see. This is this is the first pan. So in that pan, how many we got there? Oh, we got One. two, two, four, six, eight, nine. Put ten. Ten. Okay, and how many, and how much have you got left of that? Yeah, easy. <laughs> easy. So if I get ten per um, pan at least. So All right, we'll let come me, back. Let, you know, let me fill, fill the pan and then come back. Mm -hmm. Because by the time I do this, I'm ready to flip the first one over there. So I want them to see that. Okay. Okay? Because I want them to see how quick and I'll stay easy. And believe me, these are tasty. They are delicious. Okay, so now I need a fork. I'll try this knife. Let's see here. No. It needs a little bit longer. It needs a little bit longer, but don't go away. I'm not going away. Let me show them. If you come over here, you can see where the bubbles are starting to come up. It's a bit like pancakes. Okay? That's what you're looking for. Put maybe a little bit more color. I'll let a little bit more color. But you know what, Anga? Even though the butter is yeah, in the thing, the it needs some butter in the oil. So let me just put a little bit of butter in my oil right now. And that gives it seasoning, and it also gives it coloring and flavor. Helps with the browning process. Yes, I was raised on butter. Got that joke. Can we put your fork? That'd be easier. No, I'll do it with this. Oh! Here we go. We'll do it with this. We should do it. Okay, so guys, we'll come back when we get these fried up, okay? So, but this is what it's going to look like. You don't even need to know what it's going to taste like, because I'm going to tell you right now. It's going to taste good. So, while I'm frying up, and I got so much more to do, and I'm on a time clock, because my, my camera person is going off on a good day. She's going to be helping a friend. Where does your friend live? Tell Denmark. everybody. Denmark. So a good friend of mine, one of my best friends, lives in Denmark. She's a teacher. And she teaches English and social studies. And um, they've only just gone back to school, actually. And they're, today they're doing a class on um, Black Lives Matter and what's been going on in the States and social and racial injustice. And so I'm helping her with that lesson because she teaches it in Danish and in English. So I'll be doing the English part of that. Oh, isn't that great? So yeah. Katrina's going to be... So I've got to go because they're going to ring me for that online lesson that I'm doing. I think that's brilliant. Okay. So, y'all don't need to see me frying up all of this. But what I will do is at the end of it, I'm going to count it up. I'm going to stack it up. And I'm going to let you know the winner. No, I can't. But see, then if y'all put your comments in... Y'all know. No, I'm going to say at the very end of the video. I want them comments coming in before <laughs> the video ends. And then at the very end of the video, I will show you a picture. And I will flash the number of how many of my corn and zucchini courgette hush puppet fritters. Right. So, mm, they do look good. And I must admit, I'm just having tea taste of a crumb. Good googa mooga. I can't. Delicious! Yeah, they look really good. Cool. Okay. So, put a little bit of peace. Whole lot of love and soul. What the hell?
How was From that? From the mama. Yeah, mom. Goodbye. That's a face I'd never want to see you make again. <laughs> Fingers, I'm used to this kind of stuff, okay? Use a spoon. It's gonna be like...